Two ways to clean a map sensor without removing it. Let's say your car suddenly feels sluggish, fuel efficiency drops, and the check engine light starts glowing. You take it to the mechanic, and he tells you the MAP sensor is dirty. Now you're thinking, do I need to remove it, clean it, or even replace it? The good news is, in many cases, you don't need to pull the sensor out at all. Cleaning it right where it sits can restore performance, save you money, and extend your engine's life. In this video, we're going to cover two fast and effective ways to clean your MAP sensor without removing it, methods you can do at home even if you're not a car expert. What is a MAP? short for Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor, and why is it vital for better fuel economy? So before we get into the various methods I will show you in this video, let's quickly look at what this sensor does. The MAP sensor, Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor, is a critical part of your engine's fuel and air management system. It measures the air pressure inside the intake manifold and sends this information to the ECU, engine control unit. The ECU then calculates how much fuel to inject, ensuring the perfect air-fuel ratio. When the MAP sensor gets dirty, usually from oil vapor, carbon buildup, or dust, it can't give accurate readings. The ECU gets confused, and the result is poor fuel economy, weak acceleration, rough idling, and sometimes even stalling. Left untreated, it can cause more serious damage. Some of the common symptoms of a dirty MAP sensor include a drop in fuel efficiency, loss of engine power, the check engine light comes on, hesitation when accelerating, and a rough or unstable idle. So now you see why keeping this sensor clean is crucial. The best part? You don't always need to remove it. Let's move on to the first method. Cleaning with electrical contact cleaner. The first fast way to clean your MAP sensor without removing it is by using an electrical contact cleaner. This spray is designed for sensitive electronic components, evaporates quickly, and leaves behind no residue, which makes it ideal for MAP sensors. It removes fine layers of dirt, oil vapor, and carbon deposits that interfere with sensor accuracy. Step 1. Locate the MAP sensor. Open your vehicle's hood and identify the MAP sensor. Most vehicles have it mounted directly on or near the intake manifold, attached with a small electrical connector and a wiring harness. If you're unsure of its location, check your car's service manual. It usually provides diagrams that make spotting the sensor easier. Step 2. Turn off the engine. Safety is key. Ensure that your engine is completely off and cool before you start. Spraying flammable cleaner onto hot parts can be risky, so always wait until everything is cool to the touch. Step 3. Disconnect the wiring harness. Press the release clip carefully and detach the wiring connector from the sensor. This not only gives you direct access to the electrical contacts, but also prevents accidental short circuits while cleaning. Be gentle. These connectors are often delicate after years of heat exposure. Step 4. Spray electrical contact cleaner. Hold the spray can close to the opening of the sensor and apply short, controlled bursts. The cleaner will immediately start dissolving built-up deposits. Avoid soaking the sensor. Too much cleaner at once can seep into areas it doesn't belong. Precision and patience are more effective than flooding. Step 5. Let it dry completely. Allow the sensor to air dry naturally. Electrical contact cleaner evaporates fast, but giving it a few extra minutes ensures no moisture remains. Never try to wipe or blow dry the sensor. Wiping risks scratching sensitive surfaces, and compressed air can damage the delicate elements inside. Step 6. Reconnect and test. Once dry, reconnect the wiring harness, secure it properly, and close the hood. Start the engine and observe. A properly cleaned MAP sensor often shows immediate improvement. Smoother idling, stronger throttle response, and sometimes even the check engine light clears on its own after a few minutes of driving. For this method, make sure to Filled circle. Always use electrical contact cleaner or a sensor-safe spray. Avoid WD-40, brake cleaner, or carb cleaner as they leave residue or can cause long-term damage. Filled circle spray lightly. Strong, prolonged bursts can harm sensitive electronics. Filled circle. Regular preventive cleaning every 15,000 to 20,000 miles keeps your MAP sensor in top shape and avoids future issues. This method is quick and non-invasive. It's usually enough for minor, dirt-related issues, restoring your sensor's accuracy in just a few minutes. But if the buildup is stubborn or heavier, you'll need to move on to the second approach. Way 2. Cleaning with Air Intake Cleaner Spray 
The second fast way to clean your MAP sensor without removing it is by using an air intake cleaner spray. Unlike the contact cleaner method, which only targets electrical connections, this one focuses on the sensor tip inside the airflow and the surrounding intake passages. Over time, soot, oil mist, and carbon buildup collect around these areas, restricting airflow and corrupting sensor readings. This method clears out more than just the sensor. It freshens up the entire intake path. Step 1. Locate the intake opening. Start by removing the air filter housing or disconnecting the intake tubing. This gives you clear access to the intake manifold opening where the MAP sensor sits inside. Depending on your vehicle, this might be as simple as unclipping a housing or loosening a clamp. Having clear access is crucial since the spray needs to flow directly through the sensor and into the intake passages. Step 2. Start the engine. Unlike the first method, this requires the engine to be running. Let the engine idle at a steady pace, preferably between 1, 500, and 2,000 RPM. The reason is simple. Airflow helps carry the cleaner past the sensor and ensures it burns off during the process. Without the engine running, the cleaner could pool inside the intake, which is less effective and riskier. Step 3. Spray the cleaner into the intake. With the engine idling, Apply short, controlled bursts of air intake cleaner directly into the intake opening. This allows the cleaner to pass over the MAP sensor's tip, dissolving stubborn grimes, and also clean the surrounding intake runners. Don't spray continuously. Doing so can choke the engine and cause it to stall. Think of it like seasoning food. A little at a time works better than dumping everything in at once. Step 4. Rev the engine lightly. As you spray, Lightly tap the accelerator to raise RPMs briefly. This creates stronger airflow, which distributes the cleaner more effectively and ensures deposits don't just loosen, but actually burn away. Small bursts of throttle also prevent the engine from bogging down under the spray. Step 5. Let it burn off. After you've sprayed enough cleaner, usually about half a can is sufficient. Let the engine idle for several minutes. Expect to see white smoke from the exhaust during this stage. That's completely normal. It's just the cleaner and loosened deposits being burned away. A visible sign that the cleaning process is working. Step 6. Test drive the vehicle. Take your car for a short highway run of 10 to 15 minutes. At higher speeds and sustained RPMs, airflow remains strong and hot enough to evaporate any leftover cleaner and finish burning off loosened soot. During this drive, you may notice improved throttle response, steadier acceleration, and in many cases, better fuel efficiency almost immediately. Extra tips for this method. Filled circle. Only use a sensor-safe air intake cleaner. Many cheap sprays or carb cleaners can damage the protective coating on MAP sensors. Filled circle. Don't spray into the electrical connector. Focus on the airflow pathway. Filled circle. Do this in an open, well-ventilated area, as fumes can be intense and the smoke during burn-off may linger. Filled circle. Make it part of periodic maintenance if you drive in dusty areas, use older engines prone to oil mist, or notice sluggish performance. This second method is more thorough than the first. Not only does it clean the MAP sensor itself, but it also restores airflow quality in the intake system, which translates into smoother combustion and better engine health. It's the go-to option when performance issues are more noticeable, or when preventive maintenance has been ignored for too long. Tips to keep your MAP sensor clean. Filled circle. Change your air filter regularly. A clogged or dirty air filter allows more debris into the intake, dirtying the sensor faster. Filled circle. Check for oil leaks in the intake. Excessive oil vapor from a bad PCV valve can foul the sensor quickly. Filled circle. Use high quality fuel. Cheap or dirty fuel creates more carbon buildup. Filled circle. Don't ignore symptoms. The sooner you address poor fuel economy or sluggish performance, the easier it is to fix. A dirty MAP sensor might seem like a small issue, but it has a big impact on your car's performance and efficiency. The good news is, you don't always need to remove it or replace it. With just a can of cleaner and a few minutes of your time, you can restore smooth performance, save fuel, and avoid costly repairs. We showed you two fast ways, one with an electrical contact cleaner, the other with an air intake cleaner spray. 
Both methods are simple, inexpensive, and effective. If this guide helped you, make sure to watch this other video on how to clean the EGR valve without removal. Link will be in the description box below. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful guides like this.